Hey, what's up guys? Today I want to share how to create this form on Photoshop CC. You can do this by using any version of Photoshop and Illustrator together. I have used Photoshop CC and Illustrator CC. Before starting this video, I got a request to watch my previous videos on my YouTube channel and there are two playlists such as Basic to Advanced Level Illustrator and basic to advanced level photoshop cc so before starting this video i also recommend you to uh, subscribe to my channel and also click the bell icon and like comment share more and more with your friends so let's get started basically i have uh, used photoshop and illustrator cc the first time i have uh, opened illustrator cc to create this logo easily this is an awesome and easily uh you can make this logo on illustrator so let's get started this time i will minimize this one by creating this one first of all you have to borrow the ellipse tool by pressing shift and also all together and next one you have to click on fill color and open the so color from here and increase the stroke of this circle i will get it on the 23 that's it and i have got 16 here and this one you have to select and after that you have to go to the object menu and path offset path from here and get it 40 from here preview this one also you can get 50 also and this one is the right okay that's it now you have to carve like this or by using this shape builder tool after creating this one and you have to select and go to the object menu and expand from here and that's okay and go to the line segment tool and before using the line segment tool you have to get roller by pressing ctrl r all together get a ruler from here in the center like this that's it and now you have to use And increase the stroke I've got 11 and 13 okay and now you can select again decrease this one I have to increase that's it now you have to select this one and go to the object menu and expand all together and okay and this one you have to delete and this one you have to delete and this is the shape total now select all together from here to the shape builder tool this one and shortcut key shift plus n and cut this one by pressing also that's it that's it by pressing also key from your keyboard and this is the total shape now i would like to draw another circle in the inner point of this circle here okay go to the ellipse tool and then you have to draw a circle 
from here by pressing shift and alt to alt together. And save the color from here. This one is the color. By pressing shift and alt to alt together, you have to increase the circle. And then increase a little bit. That's it, and this is the circle. And by pressing the right button of your mouse pointer and go to the arrays and send to back. That's it. Okay, and you have to draw this for how to do it. And down shape tool from here. By pressing the left button of your mouse pointer, that's it. the color and copy this one go into the edit menu and copy and again test in front by pressing the right button of your mouse pointer and also you have to uh, increase this one Increase a little bit and there see you have to copy go to the edit menu and copy and paste in front click the right button of your mouse pointer that's it and you have to select this one all together by pressing shift and go to the align menu you can get align menu from window this one and shortcut key shift plus up seven and you have to select this one and vertical align center and you have to group this one by pressing right button of your mouse pointer this one has been grouped and provide a little bit that's it okay and now you have to draw this one how to do it okay and use the stroke from here increase the stroke i have used 23 and you can decrease a little bit and that's it this shape has to cut or delete how to do it and after selecting this one you have to respond from here okay and then go to the line segment tool and increase the stroke of the line segment tool from here and select this one you have to go to the object menu and spawn from here and okay you have to select this one all together and go to the shape builder tool and cut this one and this one and this one also by pressing alt or key this one and this one and also this one that's it i have cut all together 
by pressing all the shift all together you have to zoom out and then draw a simple shape from here okay that's it and this is the logo and you can write down the globe from here and after selecting this portion by pressing shift and also select this one all together and group it all together and this one also you have to group it all together okay that's it okay now you have to uh, right globe or the type menu from here and type here zero b globe i like to increase the text by pressing shift and also all together from here and then i can change the font by going character that's it now this is the total logo which i have created by using illustrator now i'd like to align selecting all together from here this one has been total logo okay now you would like to go to the photoshop cc and this is the photoshop and i have created a shape or blank shape which is on white color you have to draw a background color from here how to do it at first go to the rectangle tool change the color from here Select this one and you can use any types of gradient color, whatever you like. And this is my sizable color. You can use any types of color from your color picker. And by pressing Ctrl and T, Ctrl and T all together. Set it from here. By pressing shift and all, also all together. That's it. Apply. <laughs> now I like to create a button. How to create a button? You have to go to the round rectangle tool by pressing shift and also all together and also you can create whatever you like according to yourself and now I like to use there's it select this one by pressing ctrl and t all together now you can decrease or increase by pressing shift and alt all together i like to copy this one apply by pressing alt and Another one by pressing all to all together. There are three shapes. And now you like to go to the layer. This one is first layer. This one is first, second, and third. Okay. Now I would like to press on the right button of your mouse pointer. Go to the blending option. And 
click on drop shadow from here you can increase or decrease the opacity and that's it okay and second one like this select this one and press the right button of your mouse pointer go to the blending option and click on drop shadow from here decrease the opacity like this it's totally depending on you okay this is the first design or on ui okay now select this one on the right bottom to get blending option click on the drop shadow and decrease the opacity from here that's it this is a simple and awesome design i think okay you have to get the logo from here first of first of all you have to write down a uh, email password and sign up how to do it okay this time go to the character menu or type menu from here this one is email i have to write here email Change the color from here by selecting the image by pressing Ctrl and T all together. Increase this one like this. Okay, and you have to write down here password By pressing shift and all to shift and control all together. Shift and control all together. You can select this one. Okay. You can change any types of color from the color picker. And then this is the sign up. You can change the color from here. And that's it. You have to select by pressing Ctrl and T all together. And that's it. And this is the total button design. Now you have to uh, right here sign up. And sign up and I have written sign up button here now I can get the logo from the illustrator so select this one before selecting this one you have to group all together and this one you have to get on photoshop that's it you have to decrease the size by pressing shift and also all together like this i think this is an awesome and simple ui design first time you have to create a form by using Illustrator and Photoshop all together. That's it. This is my total form design. You can create by using Photoshop and Illustrator CC all together and you can increase or decrease the color from your color picture. Thanks for watching my videos till the end. I cordially request to watch my previous videos from my YouTube channel and also like, comment, share more and more. If you think this video is useful just for you, leave a comment, share 
more and more. Thanks for watching my video till the end.